make me more like you. Change me, oh God. Wash me. awesome God and he is yet in control and we thank God for the Father, Son and the Holy Ghost and we are here at this particular moment in time for the graveside services for Bruce Bernard Blackman one who have lived like we have lived and walked this earth like we have walked, yet God saw fit to call him from labor to reward. Now, you know, it's something strange about God. He doesn't need our permission to do what he's going to do. And so I've learned in life is the best thing to do is to conform to whatever God would have be done. And when I do that, I find my life sweet. So I just want to encourage this family and let you know that God got you in the hollow of his hand. 
And, and, and it's okay to cry. It's okay to, to weep. It's okay to mourn. Because out of all those things, the scripture tells us that you're blessed if you mourn because you're going to be comforted. And just know that God is the greatest comforter that we know. So we just want you to know, family, that we share in your sorrow. At the same time, we hope something will be done that will give you something to remember your loved one by. We do have an order of service that we will be governed by. We're going to have a hymn. What a friend we have in Jesus. Scripture, Reverend Naomi Cobb. Prayer, Reverend Naomi Cobb. Words of comfort. I'll come back and do the words of comfort. And then we'll have the committal and the benediction. Amen. Amen. Let me, let me, how many know God is good? Amen. <laughs> Amen. He's good. He's yet good. And, and so we bless his name. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry. Everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often for. Oh, fear. oh, what needless pains we bear. All because we do not care. Everything to God in prayer. First, give an honor to my Heavenly Father to my father in the ministry, Pastor Harden, to the bereaved family. I have two scriptures I will be reading in your hearing. One is from the Old Testament and one is from the New Testament. From the Old Testament, Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8, and it reads as thus wise, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace yes. and a time to refrain from embracing. Amen. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silent and a time to speak. And the last verse, the eighth verse says, a time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. That was Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8. And from the New Testament, St. John 14 says, let not your heart be troubled. 
Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. Hmm. I go to prepare a place for you. Hmm. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whether I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know it the way? Jesus said unto him, the sixth verse says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. The 26th and 27th verse is where I will end this particular scripture. The 26th verse reads thus wise, but the comforter, uh, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. He will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. And the final verse for the family. I hope you find comfort in these words. The Lord said, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world give it unto you. Let not your heart be troubled Neither let it be afraid. Let's go to the throne of grace. Thank you, Lord. What a friend we have in Jesus. My Lord. All, not some, but all, all of our sins and griefs to bear. Thank you, Lord. The songwriter said, what a privilege, yes, uh, what a privilege it is to carry, yes, not some, but every, every, everything to God in prayer. Lord, here we are on this Wednesday afternoon, the 20th of May. God, you already knew what this day would bring. But we're gathered here with the Blackman thank family, God, and we're thanking you for Brother Bernard's life, God. We thank, you. we thank you for his life and his legacy, God. And Brother Bernard has done what we all got to do. <laughs> We're going to have to go this same way too. <laughs> but God, for those of us that are still on this side, uh, you said earth has no sorrow. Mm. Uh, that heaven cannot heal. You, so God, right now, we're speaking a healing over this family. Lord, we're speaking a comfort over this family you, that only you can give. God, we thank you. And as pastor come forth with the word, it will go forth in power and might. It will be words of comfort for this family, God. And we're thanking you in advance for doing it. God, we thank you and we praise you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Once again, we like to give honor and praise and glory to our God. We like to give high honor and recognition to this bereaved family and to let you know that God is yet in control. Yes, amen. And knowing that brings a sense of solace and comfort, but at the same time, you're still hurting and it's okay can you can you look at your neighbor and tell them it's okay it's okay to hurt it's okay to hurt and 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 we hurt for those we love the most and so and so that's a part of our our genetic makeup to to, to have feeling and to love one another yes. and so we we just want you to know it's okay but guess what god will heal your hurt yes, he will. and and he's gonna do it and he's already done it let me just say that we have a just a just um a few words to in, try to encourage you in this moment in time in your life you know when i when I get a little discouraged, and I do sometimes, I always find comfort in the scriptures. Amen. 
You know, it's okay for my wife to tell me, it's okay, honey, it's going to be all right. That's good. Yes. But I need a sure word yes, say that, Pastor. that I can stand on. That's right. And the only sure word is God's word. Say that. Amen. And so I want to bring your attention to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, beginning at the 42nd verse. And it reads like this. It says, so is it with the resurrection of the dead. What is sown is perishable. What is raised is imperishable. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, there is also a spiritual body. Amen. Amen. And we just want to let the family know that there is more to come. There is more to come. Oftentimes, those of us who know anything about grammar and, and, and punctuation, when you're reading and you come up on a comma, that means for you to pause. When you're reading and you come up on a period, that means for you to stop. But I want you to know today the leaving of your loved one is a comma. Amen. It's just a pause. And the comma and the pause means that there's more to come. And so I want you to know today that this is just a comma. It's a pause. But there's more to come. In the scriptures... Paul was writing to believers. He was writing to the church. And there was a question on the floor about whether or not there will be a resurrection. And I don't know about you, but if there is no resurrection, then guess what? I, I agree with the scripture. It says, if in this life we only have hope in Christ, we are some miserable people. Can I get an amen? amen. And if Christ is only good for this life, then, then I'm pretty miserable today. Because guess what? In this life we have headaches. In this life we have heartaches. In this life, we have pain. Mm -hmm. In this life, we have trouble, Amen. trials, Amen. tribulation. Amen. And if this, if Christ is only good for now, then I'm a miserable creature. But I got good news for you. He is not just good for now. He's good for beyond now. And one of these days, we who have put our trust in him, we are going to live again. <laughs> I wish I had somebody. And y'all y'all have to excuse me because, see, I haven't preached in two months. <laughs> And so I'm, I'm getting kind of happy because see the God that we serve have fixed it for us. And in this text, Paul said he began to, to, to show the, the comparison of, of, of the, of the body that is now. And then the, new body that we're going to get. Mm -hmm. See, Bernard, he he just 
gone to trade in mm -hmm. his old body mm -hmm. for a new body. Amen. Amen. Let, let me tell y'all something. Anybody in here ever traded in a vehicle? Now, now, now you don't you don't trade in a a, a, a good vehicle for a worse vehicle. What you look like trading in a Mercedes and getting a Pinto? <laughs> and so it is with our physical body. Paul says, so it is with the resurrection of the dead. He said, what is sown is perishable. Now, all of us in here, country folk, mm -hmm. and, 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 and we know a little bit about gardening mm -hmm. because that's what we grew up on, mm -hmm. food from the garden. Mm -hmm. You know, I ain't know nothing about no McDonald's until I got grown. <laughs> and now I wish I had known nothing about it. <laughs> So Paul uses the analogy of a garden. He said, with our body, he says, it's sown, what is sown is perishable. Yeah. In other words, when something is perishable, that means that it, 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 it decays. Yeah. All of us, look at your neighbor. All of you are looking at decay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, some of you are rich decay. Some of you are poor decay. Some of you are black decay. Some of you are white decay. Some of you are light decay. <laughs> and some of you are dark decay. But all of us are dying. And what is sown is perishable. It, but now guess what? What is raised is imperishable. Now, let me say this, when, 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 when on that great getting up morning, when this body that went down, get up, it's not going to get up like it went down. Somebody ought to tell them thank you. See, because when it went down, it went down in weakness. It went down in dishonor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In other words, it went down sickly. Mm -hmm. It went down weak. Yeah. But oh, when it come up, yeah. it's going to come up. Yeah. The scripture call it imperishable. Yeah. In other words, not only will it not die, yeah. it can't die. Not only will it not get sick, it can't get sick. It will be a new body. Now I know what some of you are thinking. Where you get that from? It, I got it from the scripture. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. Yeah. Let me say this, and I'm closing because God has blessed me to do what I asked him to do this morning. When I got up this morning, the bottom had fallen out, and it was raining so hard. And then my wife called me. She said, honey, you know it's supposed to rain all day. I got you a, your coat is this, your this is that. I said, I said, who are you talking to? <laughs> and she said, huh? I said, Elijah was a man just like me. But he prayed that it wouldn't rain. And it didn't rain for three and a half years. And God was telling me, there's no difference between you and Elijah. 
He said, if you pray, something will happen too. So I prayed. And look at what happened. But God said, hurry up, Matthew. <laughs> we give God the glory. Because this new body we're going to get, y'all. This new body is going to be awesome. Yes, it is. Now, you say, see, see, right now, it's us, we who are born again. Mm -hmm. It's like we got a new motor in an old car. Mm -hmm. We've been born again on the inside, a spiritual birth, mm -hmm. but now this body is still jacked up. Somebody say amen. amen. But see, when God get through with me, mm -hmm. when he get through with us, mm -hmm. he's going to give us a body that is suitable for the spirit that's on the inside of us. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, because I know I got the Holy Ghost on the inside of me. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Me and the Holy Ghost and my knees hurting too. <laughs> So guess what? He gonna give me a body that is suitable for this perfect spirit that's on the inside of me. And so I know you're gonna miss Bernard. I know you're gonna miss your loved one. I know you are. But know this, he just gone to trade in and get his new body. No more hospital. No more pain. No more suffering. When I was a little boy, I used to listen to a gospel song that said, no tears in heaven. No crying in glory. All of God's children will be happy. Don't you see? No pain, no sorrow. No worrying about tomorrow. No tears in heaven for you and me. So just know, if there's tears, there are tears on earth, we crying for him. But he ain't crying for us Amen. because he's all right. Yes, he Family, God bless you yes. and God keep you. Yes, and, and my memory of, of, of him, he came to me one time in the fellowship hall. He said, you know who I am? <laughs> and then so I said, yeah, I, I know who you are. I said, you sister Mary, son. He said, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> He said, that's right. I said, okay. I said, yeah, I know who you are. He said, okay. I just wanted to make sure you know who I am. <laughs> and, and, and he was a friendly person. Yes, he was. And we thank God for his life and his legacy. Family, just know God got you through these times. Just look to the hill. Keep looking up. Everything's going to be all right. To God be the glory. I'm going to turn it over. Bye -bye. Mm. Mm. We won't see no more. It's all over. Mm. The good Lord got you in his hand. Mm. He can do more with you like it. Mm. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Yeah. It hurt, Lord, but it's all right. As we prepare our hearts for the committal service, for as much as it has pleased Almighty God in his wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our deceased brother, we therefore commit his body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Looking for the general resurrection in the last day and the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ at whose second coming in glorious majesty to judge the world. The earth and the sea shall give up their dead, and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own.
glorious body. Amen. According to the mighty working, whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, from henceforth blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Even so, saith the Spirit, for they rest from their labors. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for the life of this our deceased brother. Thank you, Father God, for allowing him to come this way. And Father God, we lift up the ones he left behind. His mother, his sister, yes. Yes. his cousins, his nieces, nephews, all. We ask, Lord God, that you take this family and hold them in the hollow of your hand. We ask, Lord God, that you keep them. We know that you have keeping power. And Lord God, I know you to be a good leaning post. Let them lean on you, Lord, in those times when it get a little rough. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before his presence with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, to him be glory, honor, majesty, dominion, and power. Now, henceforth, and forever. Amen. 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 On behalf of the family and the staff at Wright and Jones Field Hall, wishes to thank each of you this afternoon for your presence. We'd like to stay in special thanks to Reverend Harden, Reverend Cobbs, and any other minister of the gospel that are present. We ask that you continue to remember this family in your prayers, not only today, but throughout the rest of the days of our lives. Due to Corona 19, we won't be immediately greeting, but... We all wish you well. Amen. So may God bless each of you. Amen. 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 Am